Alright, so this is just some basics here. Um, go into your training mode and you're going to want to set up no guard. Or, uh, sorry, you're going to want to change that to uh, after first attack and then set your stun off. And make sure you play with your uh, inputs. Uh, this is the safe pressure I was talking about. You're going to use standing medium kick into crouching uh, medium punch and then you can follow that up with stomps if they're blocking or you can do a disc like I just did right there. Um, make sure you don't disc unless you confirm the first two hits because that's unsafe. The first two hits are safe and you see right there I did it a little late and uh, yeah I did this with like no warm up so anyway just kinda showing you that like that's um, you can also follow up your uh, if you do standing uh, medium kick into crouching medium punch you can follow that up with another knee and if because you're plus frames so if they go to press a button then you can get a counter hit and then you can like continue the string that's why that's such a good thing to do for pressure so anyway um, moving on uh, this is the crouching medium in a light stomp it uh, will not, the stop will not hit from max range, but it does hit from like pretty good range. So as you can see there, um, most of the time it's hitting when you're at like mid range, uh, playing neutral. So it's a good tool to use. They have to block it low. Uh, you can mix that up along with the overhead occasionally, but don't do too many overheads because it's not, it's not safe. Um, but uh, yeah, that's another good tool. Um, just make sure that when you're doing stomp you're using light stomp it's the only one that can combo um, and if you use uh, light stomp and it gets blocked it's not your turn anymore so the nice thing about this though is you see like how far away uh, after the stomp like they they can't really hit you with anything especially a character like Ken um, so yeah you're gonna want to practice that combo a lot the one that you just saw um, it's still hard to do especially in a match um, so yeah, I think here I start uh, the jab, the jab combo. You can chain two of them together, and then you can link it into a canceled um, EX stomp. Don't use light stomp; it won't work. So make sure you're doing jab jab into um, EX stomp. It's the only one that'll work, and you can do that crouching jab or standing jab. Um, so right here, um, just showing you on wake up. Uh, most people are blocking so it's it's a good meaty to do right there you're gonna wanna um, the standing uh, medium kick is is a good meaty it doesn't have a ton of active frames so that's the downside of it but the thing is it's safe and uh, if you see them blocking follow up the last one with a stomp rather than the disc because the disc is gonna get you punished but if you do uh, stop it keeps pressure going and if they accidentally stop blocking on the stomp you get a counter hit you can keep going um, so yeah that's just something to take note of uh, you see a lot of people doing the the three hit and then ending with the with a stomp you can also do um, instead of doing if you see they're blocking instead of doing light stomp right here light stomp is negative four if you do medium stomp it's only negative two and if you do heavy stomp it's only uh, it's it's even it's zero frames uh, disadvantage um, so the thing to keep in mind though the heavier stomp takes longer and right here Ken can literally DP you and interrupt this um, they can do that so when you do this stuff make sure you're aware of that you know um, and that's another mind game you can play you can kinda like just do the first two hits and then continue doing the first two hits and start that over you know standing medium kicks uh, in a medium punch and then do medium kick again rather than doing the stomp all the time and then what that will do is uh, make them kind of play a guessing game and then what you can do also is if you think they're gonna try and interrupt in an uppercut you just simply block instead of doing a stomp and then you get a free punish so let's let this roll a little bit here I'm just kinda showing you stuff like yeah like that you can see the the range right there and it's important to know because you can super off that stomp. So it's important to know if, even though the first hit hit, the second one, the stomp has to hit. You can see right there, like that was pretty much max range to be able to super. Because if we back it up, 
Um, I think I had missed. Yeah, like that one he blocked from that range. So you, if you super right there, even though you hit your medium kick, like it's not gonna work. And it happens to me a lot. So it, you gotta keep an eye on how far away you are right there. So um, yeah, for right there, that's the most range you want if you're gonna confirm into super. You can buffer the super, but make sure that stomp hits, otherwise you're gonna waste it. Um, so this is, uh, me just showing you you can use V-Trigger. Um, this is a little bit more advanced stuff um, once you get going here. Yeah, work on that the most. Start out with your safe pressure. Um, here's like the full combo. So again, that's gonna be um, yeah with the jump in. You standing strong, crouching strong into stomp, into medium punch, crouched into disc. So I'll show you that one more time here. And make sure you delay that medium punch. That's where it's easiest to drop the combo. Right here. Like, as you see Nikali coming back, if you press punch too early and disc, he'll just disc and they'll block it and you'll get lit up. But yeah, right there is where you want to hit it. And it's real easy to drop. I, I do it all the time. Uh, less and less now, but... Yeah, so that's, that's the timing on that. Um, you can also... Um, uh, you can also, if you ever hit with a roundhouse close, this is something I just learned. Now, don't don't use this as like a bread and butter, but uh, what you can do is you can you can hit them with a roundhouse and then jab them after. And as you already know, you can ex stomp after jab. So that's just something to keep in mind. Normally, normally that's the range you're gonna use. That's that's the range you're gonna use uh, roundhouse at. You're not gonna want to like. You're not gonna want to just do it like in their face because it's pretty unsafe. So anyway, um, again the the bread and butter combo there. Yeah, keep that going. Okay, so here is the jumping combo with the ex. It's the same as the one we did earlier in the corner, um, except at the end you just hit two punches, and you get. For like that's a lot of damage uh, for for one bar. I mean, you can see it's 35% of their life. So uh, that's the kind of stuff you wanna you wanna be getting. Nikali's combos are some of the highest in the game, and we're not even in V trigger mode. Like our frame data gets much better, but that's stuff you'll learn down the road. Um, okay, so I don't know if I uh, I think I just end up showing you one more trick you can do here. Um, Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. If you jump and you use heavy kick, it it doesn't cross over. You have to use medium uh, medium kick, and even then, it's it's really tricky. So crossovers are not a Nikali thing. Like he can do it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, and the other thing you can do with the jump ins is after the stomp, you can super. Um, anytime you hit him with a stomp, you can super. Uh, if you want to get a corner carry, that's another combo you can do. Um, you can do the jump in. You can V-trigger, you get another hit, and then you can cancel it into into a disc. And uh, I believe you can cancel that into a medium disc when you're in V-trigger mode. Uh, notice, yeah, like all your combos, that's the target combo, but all your combos when you're doing um, disc outside of V-trigger mode, you have to use light disc. But when you're in V trigger mode, you can medium disc, which is really nice because it's it's more damage. See right there, yeah. Um, and it gets another hit too because when you're in Super Saiyan mode, it's just good. This is the target combo. Only use it as a punish because it has a roundhouse in their face, and that's all punishable beyond the the medium kick. And then you're unsafe. That whole thing. So only do that. Uh, when they're at minus five or worse and the last thing I wanted to show you yeah, I kind of screw around a little bit here but okay you can pop V trigger after the um, you can pop it after the uh, after the ground stop and yeah I think I end up showing you the combo here so once you once you get them with the uh, the stomp, you pop V trigger and start charging, and then you can hit them with uh, 
with a heavy disc. So I'll show you that one more time. So you do the target combo and then you're holding charge the whole time and then as soon as you see uh, the stomp you cancel the, the ground pound hit with the V-trigger and then you charge at them and it puts them in the corner. That's the other nice thing about that. So yeah, that's basically stuff you can work on to start out.